Hello, and welcome to our first episode of The Shark Show We All Know. Our first viewing will be about our good friend Patrice, the dogfish shark. To help us out, we will be traveling to a local bookstore to hear her story. Let us go. Once upon a time, there was a harmless dogfish shark named Patrice. She was a special shark, for she had the excellent opportunity to be dissected in Miss Deggie's pre-AP biology class. This is an adventure. Come along with us. Today, we're here in the great outdoors to talk about the background of the dogfish. The habitat the dogfish lives in, they stay in waters between 45 Fahrenheit and 59 Fahrenheit degree water. Celsius. They're, they're bottom dwellers. They're found in Arctic and Antarctic waters. Their predators are killer whales, seals, cod, red hake, goosefish, and other spiny dogfish sharks. Poisonous spines adapted for defense. Their diet consists of smaller fish, squid, octopus, and crustaceans. Travel, they travel in schools with the same species or similar species, such as leopard or smooth hound sharks. In search of food, they suck in food by lowering jaw. Their selective pressures are artificial, heavily exploited to satisfy persistent demand for the valuable parts, liver oil, and primarily caught for their meat. Natural. Larger livers to withstand mercury in water. It was natural selection, Julian. The scientific name of the dogfish shark is Squalus and Candia. The classification is as follows. The kingdom is Animalia. The phylum is Chordata. The subphylum is Vertebrata. The class is Crandichthines, or cartilaginous fish. The subclass is Elas Mombranchi, or sharks and rays. The order is Scoliformes, which is dogfish sharks. The family is Squalidae, the genus is Squalus, and the species is Encantheus. Comparison within the phyla. For the same, they have bilateral symmetry, body segmentation, endoskeleton, all cartilage, binagral pouches, which are present during at least one stage of the development, a complete digestive system, ventral heart, closed blood system, and a tail. What's different about them is they don't have bones. They have the ampullae of Lorenzini, which detects weak magnetic fields produced by other fishes over short ranges and enables sharks to locate prey buried in the sand or orient to nearby movement. Close relations of the dogfish shark are bull sharks, great white sharks, gray reef sharks, hammerhead sharks, nurse sharks, tiger sharks, whale sharks, also to the class of Agnetha or other jawless fishes. Evolutionary adaptions of the dogfish shark are smooth rounded teeth to sharp serrated teeth for better chomping. Okay, so thanks. So today, we are here in the bushes, not being creepy at all. We're talking about the close relations of the dogfish shark. Bull sharks, great white sharks, great reef sharks, hammerhead sharks, nurse sharks, tiger sharks, whale sharks, also the close agnatha, other jawless fishes. Those are all relations of the dogfish shark. Now the evolutionary adaptions. They went from smooth, rounded teeth to sharp, serrated teeth. That's all. The dogfish shark reproduces sexually. Males have stout copulatory organs called claspers. These are, these are inserted during copulation into the oviduct orifice of the female. The sperm goes into the colica of the male, along the groove in the dorsal fin, and into the female. The testes of the male are inside the body. The gestation period is 18 to 24 months. Sharks do not care for the young and leave immediately after they are born. 
While the offspring is in the mother, they are provided with nourishment through the placental tube. When they are born, some pups feed on any unborn siblings for essential nutrients. They grow rapidly throughout their life. Once they are mature, the rate of growth begins to decrease. Their average life is about 16 years. For the external anatomy of the dogfish shark, it is covered in a tough layer of skin. The appendages it has are double dorsal fins, pelvic fins, pectoral fins, a caudal fin, and male sharks have claspers. The dogfish shark has bilateral symmetry, which is defined by a bilateral line on either side of the body. The lateral lines contain tiny pores to sense movement or change in water pressure. A dogfish shark has two spines that carry poison secreted by internal glands. These sharks have spiracles located posterior to their eyes. The spiracles, when open, become a passageway for water leading to the, the mouth and then the gills for respiration. Dogfish sharks also have ampullae of Lorenzini, which are pores in the area of the snout and nostrils that are sensitive to change in temperature, pressure, electrical fields, and the salinity of the water. This shark, along with many others, uses its fins to move and glide throughout the water. It is built for fast, long distance swimming. The main function of digestion is to eat food and to send nutrients through the body and to survive and have offspring to continue their species. The dogfish shark consumes its food by tearing chunks from its prey with triangular serrated teeth. Its diet consists of bony fishes, but also squids, octopus, and crustaceans. Once food is in the mouth, food goes into the pharynx, into the esophagus, then to the stomach, and finally to the duodenum and in the small intestine. The primary function of the circulatory system is to move the blood through the shark's body in a closed system singular loop. Once the blood travels from the heart to the gills, it releases carbon dioxide while gathering the nutrients and the oxygen. It then takes the oxygen and the nutrients throughout the body, eventually returning to the heart. The dogfish shark has a two-chambered heart with four different parts, the atrium, the ventricle, the sinus venosus, and the bulbus arterioris. The sinus venosus is a small thin sac that collects the deoxygenated blood from the veins and then the blood travels to the atrium. The atrium is a one-way compartment for the blood to flow into the ventricle. The ventricle then pumps the blood for the heart where the blood leaves and travels to the bulbus arterioris. The bulbus arterioris is a large tube that leads the blood to the aorta where it then travels to the gills where it then exchanges carbon dioxide for oxygen and nutrients. In relation to the respiratory system, the blood transports both the carbon dioxide and the oxygen, and in relation to the digestive system, the blood transports the nutrients throughout the body. The dogfish shark must move continuously to keep up its blood or to keep its blood moving because it has a lower blood pressure than humans. The main function of the respiratory system is to help the organism breathe and to bring oxygen into the lungs. This is done through the gills. This process requires a large amount of energy, but sharks have evolved to efficient structures to minimize energy consumption. The disadvantage is that it is still energy consum consuming, but evolution is taking care of that. There is nothing special about this except that sharks can breathe underwater. The primary function of the dogfish shark's nervous system is to serve as a communication between the shark and its environment along with the shark and its some various organs. The dogfish shark has a simple nervous system unlike humans. The organs have self-realization, meaning that the most important organs are nearest to the head, for example, the nose, the mouth, and the eyes. The central nervous system is in the form of a lateral line system. The sensory information of the, for the dogfish shark is collected through its eyes, mouth, nose, and the ampullae of Lorenzini. I used to think and I could not go on. My life was nothing but an awful song. But now I know the meaning of true love. I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. If I can see. I can do it If I just
just believe it There's nothing to it I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky I think about it every night and day Spread my wings and fly away I believe I can soar I see me running through the open door On the verge of breaking down Sometimes silence can seem so loud There are miracles in life I must achieve But first I know it starts inside of me Patrice, the dogfish shark. So long!